Hi everybody, this is Nicole with 20 Something Planner. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in to this plan with me. This is a memory spread for the week of March 29th and I'm using this absolutely stunning kit from Sadie Stickers. This is one of her photo kits called Inhale and this is still available in her shop. It's on one of the last pages um, underneath her kits section on her website. I was a little nervous going into this plan with me because I haven't used a photo kit in a really long time and just because of the nature of photo kits there isn't like an additional page where you can order deco or things like that but I actually ended up really loving the way that this spread turned out. It's probably one of my favorite spreads that I've ever done and I think a major contributing factor to that was everything that I pulled in from Honey Inked and Sadie Sticker's $2 Tuesday. The spring releases from Honey Inked matched so well with that floral design from the kit. So if you see that full box um, and the pattern of the day covers, I pulled in the Honey Inked half floral dividers see right there and again I just think that they matched so perfectly with the florals that were included in this kit I was so so happy with the way that this spread turned out so so beautiful um Sadie stickers probably makes my favorite photo kits I like I said haven't used one in a really long time but I'm so happy with the way that the spread turned out I have a couple more in my stash and I'm just really looking forward to using them in the near future. Um, okay, so really quickly, just going into the sidebar, I got that idea to mark, or not even mark, to layer the March sticker up in the top left corner over a piece of the full box, one of the ninth full boxes that I knew I wasn't pulling in. I got that idea from Rachel of Gathered Plans. I'd seen her do that in a um, spread where she was using a photo kit and I just thought that was a nice way to mark the month. And that March script sticker is from Planner Coco. I pull her script stickers into pretty much every spread um, and I'm obsessed with that quote box. I think it's so calming and beautiful. Okay, so moving on into the day-to-day, -day, I marked a couple of work items. Uh, that desktop monitor is from White Deer Stationery and that pen is from Crafts by Towie. I had taken the time to just pull out all of my Crafts by Towie freebies and put them in my sticker book. So I was pulling in a lot of those. And then the bow overlay is from Sadie Stickers. I use that over top of the desktop. I love the way that I marked this. I do change out the script um, in a little bit, but I marked that I had my final dress fitting. I had picked my dress up, I think like towards the end of last year, and I wanted to go for one more final fitting because of quarantine. <laughs> um, but I marked that with, so that half floral like mandala is from a planning, like a pro freebie. I pulled in every sticker off of that freebie into this spread and I love the way that it turned out. And then that dress sticker is from Crafts by Towie. She had released a wedding sheet sometime last year and the fancy box is from Sweet Bella XOXO, but I just love the way that that turned out. And then I did mark that Marvin, so Marvin drove me to my dress fitting. He did not see the dress, um, but it was like, I, I didn't want to drive by myself at night. I don't know why I get like nervous doing that. So he drove me up and then we grabbed dinner and I pulled in a divider from Supel XOXO. And I am alternating the top and bottom columns with more of those half floral dividers from Honey Inked. I love the way that they look so, so much. I need her to restock them because I couldn't just see myself using those all spring and summer long. Here I am marking, I think it was a Sadie Stickers $2 Tuesday, and I picked up some kits from um, Jackson Pepper on this day, and I marked that with a sticker sheet from Planning Like a Pro, and then those garlands are from Sadie Stickers. I'm obsessed with them. You'll see those in a haul soon. I'm so happy she re-released them, and she also recently brought them back into her shop permanently, so that is so exciting. Alicia, thank you for doing that. That It just like, that made my weekend. <laughs> Uh, after that, I marked just some items that I had to take care of so my accountant could file my taxes. And then I ended up just watching a few YouTube videos this night. That YouTube script sticker is from Lilac Luna Plans. 
that hexagon sticker. It is a clear sticker from Harry Wright Designs. I'm curious to see if she offers the, them in um, on white paper, on a premium matte paper, because I don't know why I bought them in clear, but I just, I don't know. I end up just layering text stickers over them usually if I use them, but I would love to write on them. So I have to see if she offers that. And I did just swap out that dress fitting sticker um, with a text sticker from Designing San Diego. Unfortunately, it does not look like her shop is open anymore. I couldn't find her on Instagram and I can't find her on Etsy. If you knew her shop or were familiar with it and you know that she changed her name, please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to buy some more of her stickers. Um, okay, let me move on to Wednesday. Oh, first I'll just finish off what I marked my YouTube binge with. I think I mentioned before the text is from Lilac Luna Plans and then the squiggle divider is from that Planning Like a Pro freebie and the circular dot accents are from another $2 Tuesday sheet from Sadie Stickers. Okay, on Wednesday I marked a meeting with a paper clip box from Paper Blush Bar. There I am marking a podcast catch up or no, I started a new audiobook on this day, actually. Uh, I marked that with a Planning World microphone, and I layered that over a fancy box from Sweet Bella XOXO, and that little floral accent is from Honey Inked. I got the idea to layer the fancy box over a half box from Rachel of Gathered Plans again. I always am drawing inspiration from her. I just think she's very creative with the way she layers stickers. Um, and then on Wednesday night, I had a really bummy, lazy night. I think I just ended up sitting on TikTok for hours. So I marked that with a like leafy floral piece from Sweet Bella XOXO, who unfortunately her shop's closed at the moment. I'm hoping she has some spring and summer releases and will open up soon. But I have um, some like staple stickers that I need to repurchase from her. But um yeah, that is how I marked my binge. I layered that floral piece over an arrow and just cut it down a little bit. Um, I marked Hello April with another hexagon sticker from Harry Eric Designs, and then the Hello April sticker is from My Newest Addiction. I think she recently released those, and I bought them in the Hello Months script as well. They're really pretty. Um, I just put some floral accents down around that, and then I marked that I had a book of the month credit available. So I picked out my book and again, I just layered some garlands over top of the half box from CD stickers. Um, underneath the full box, I marked that I got my vaccine appointment confirmation on this day, which was so, so exciting. I really wanted to be vaccinated for my wedding. So I will be fully vaccinated for that. And I'm just really, really happy about that. I will feel much better about carrying through with the wedding if both Marvin and I are vaccinated. And he also got his confirmation on this day as well. Um, okay, so that stethoscope sticker is from White Deer Stationery. As well as this takeout bag, we ordered um, sushi takeout this night. And I layered a little accent from Sadie Stickers next to the bag. Again, that divider is from the Planning Like a Pro freebie. I really need to make an order of full sheets of these dividers because they're some of the prettiest dividers I've seen. Um, okay, and then those floral accents, again, are from Honey Inked. I'm just putting down a half box with the divider just so I knew how much space I had to work with down here. And then um, I am pulling in the full box. I flipped back. There was a way a few weeks ago, or actually maybe probably a few months ago, that I marked my payday and I forgot how I did it. But I know there was a specific way where I really enjoyed the way that I marked it. But I did it a little bit differently this time. I ended up layering two circular stickers. Uh, the payday sticker is from Simply Watercolor Co. And I pulled in another one of those like floral leafy stickers from Sweet Bella XOXO. And I just layered them all together and brought in some accents again from Sadie stickers. And I just love the way that it came out. I was 
I never felt the need to purchase accent stickers, but the more and more I saw planners using them, they really do make such a difference in the overall just look of a spread. So I'm happy I <laughs> kind of jumped on that bandwagon. I was a little late to the party, but um, I'm happy I have access to them now. Um, I marked that my coworker had the day off. Well, actually not my coworker, my supervisor had the day off and I just wanted to mark that down. Um, I did film on this day, so that camera is from Magic Prince Co. And I tried to pull in a TV console sticker from Paper Muse Crafts, but I I didn't pick up Rose Gold for some reason, or it was sold out. But that TV icon is from Planning World. I used that to mark that. I think we started behind her eyes on this night, which I did finally finish. Um which that was just crazy. Didn't see that twist coming, uh, but but I enjoyed it. Marvin enjoyed it too. Uh, I'm just taking up some more space here. I'm pulling in like a third half-ish box from Harry Wright Designs, and then I marked new releases with another sticker stack from Planning Like a Pro. In a minute here, I'm pulling in another one of those half floral mandala shaped stickers. I love these. I love the size of them. Again, this is just another full sheet that I'm going to have to make an order from her shop for because they're the perfect size to layer with these fancy boxes if you lay them down vertically from Sweet Bella XOXO. But I marked a dinner down there. Um, Marvin and I just grabbed dinner at our one of our favorite bistros. We get like just a bunch of apps and share them from this place it's really really good up top i marked a workout with a kettlebell from crafts by towie that shopping bag the grocery bag is also from crafts by towie i did a grocery run and then that little suit and dress is a icon that i cut off from the final fitting text from planning San Diego or designing San Diego but I thought that was a cute way to mark that I folded and put away a bunch of laundry and then again that's the final divider from the planning like a pro freebie that I had I used the entire freebie I love when that happens when you have just such a solid functional freebie that you can pull in consistent stickers throughout your spread Sunday was Easter and I totally forgot to put down the Happy Easter sticker, um, but I started off by marking a Starbucks run that Marvin and I did in the morning really quickly. The coffee cup that I pulled in was from Simply Watercolor Co. And then I marked making brunch for my family with a little mixer icon from Wait Dear Stationery. And again, I layer a bow accent from CD stickers alongside of it. I ended up making brunch. I feel much more confident in making brunch for anything over more than like three people. I have a hard time like following through, not following through with, but like planning it out so everything's done at the same time and things like that so I went with brunch for Easter uh, and I marked our brunch with some clinking champagne glasses from Crafts by Towie and then at the bottom here I am marking a plans change episode with Tay and Rachel and again I pulled in another one of those microphone stickers from Planning World. Finally I'm just putting down a squiggle from Sweet Bella XOXO and then this plan with me is complete. I am so obsessed with the way that this spread turned out and I'm so happy I just made it through this voiceover. I am nursing a hangover a little bit today and I was worried I wasn't gonna be able to get this plan with me up, but I am so happy that I did. I really hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. Let me know if you have this kit from Sadie Stickers cause I would love to see how you guys use it or will be using it. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll chat with you all in my next video. Bye everybody.